Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to our channel at Earth Strange Trading. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. I just made a video on a Beltane oil. If you're interested, you can look below and you'll find the link to that video. Also, make sure to check out our newsletter for other recipes for Beltane. Now this video is going to be on my Beltane Herbal Bath Salts, which are absolutely amazing. It's for beauty and longevity, plus a host of other things that I will go into whenever I am making these bath salts. But make sure, like I mentioned this in the last video, but I want to mention this here as well. Make sure to substitute ingredients if you do not have what I am using or if you don't resonate with what I'm using maybe you don't like one of the ingredients make sure that you pick something that resonates with you for Beltane use your intuition and let it be your guide as to what you're using make sure that you are not allergic to anything that I use or anything that you're using or if you have a medical condition make sure that the ingredients will not interfere with that um, but make sure too that you know exactly what it is that you're using if you wildcraft make sure that it does not have any chemicals pesticides um, Make sure it's not along a roadway and all that good jazz. You want to make sure this is a um, natural, you know ingredient that will not contaminate or harm you When in doubt throw it out if you don't know what it is then don't use it so I give you this recipe at use at your own risk. I am not held responsible for anything. Um, I don't know what kind of medical conditions you have, if at any at all. So I just wanted to throw that out there. That is my disclaimer. So if you're ready, let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera around and we will start to make our Beltane herbal bath sauce. So give me just a second. Okay, like I just mentioned, this herbal bath salt is great to use for a beauty and longevity ritual. Just make sure that you do some form of purification um, before you use these uh, bath salts. And also, you can do this in the, the morning of Beltane, or you can do it um, in the evening, you know, maybe before you go to bed. Uh, however you want to do that is completely up to you. But this, uh, like I said, you know, it's great for beauty and longevity, but it also helps you to embrace your sexy feminine energy. Um, it's to help you be confident in your body. It will help you see your inner flaws uh, and be comfortable with those flaws because they make us unique and they make us who we are. It will help to remove negative thought patterns and body shaming. So once you use this product, you will notice that you will have this glow um, about you. You will have this just radiant energy to you. It'll be youthful um, and just a wild, passionate energy. And I think this is perfect for Beltane. So again, I, just like the last recipe that I did, I'm going to use um, in parts. And again, for me, one part is a tablespoon, half a part is a teaspoon. Now, I also use my intuition, so just say that I use uh, one part rose. If I'm drawn to use more rose, then I will do so. So again, use your intuition, you know, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is combine the herbs into this mason jar. Now I have a 32 ounce um, mason jar and what we're going to do is add all of the herbs to the jar first. Now make sure that you put your intent and energy into each ingredient or you can do it you know, as a combination once you get finished. So the first thing that we're going to use is one part rose petals and I'm going to use um, these rose petals, I have three rose petals from some of the roses that I've dried myself. Again, make sure that your rose petals have not been sprayed. So you want to put your intent and energy into your rose petals and put them in the jar. 
Now I also have rose buds um, that I'm going to use. Okay, the next is one part lavender. Lavender to manifest. You're gonna do one part calendula flowers, and I use the whole head of the calendula flowers. Um, and the reason I do that is because, see, on the back, I don't know if you can see right here. I know it can. You can see down here. So you see on the back, you've got the green part of the flower, the stem. This has a lot of your medicinal properties um, within it. So. That's why I do the whole flower head. So anyway, again, put your intent. All right, next is one part catnip. straw put your energy in and intent next is one part nettle put your energy in intent One part jasmine. Put your energy in intent. Now see, I feel like I need to put just a little bit more jasmine, so I'm gonna do so. See the last of this mix. Now I think that's it. Oh, then, sorry. The last of this, you're going to put a. If you have a clear quartz, you want to put that in um, this jar. And I'm also going to put a piece of amethyst and moss. Agate. So each one of those are going to go into the jar. All right, now you want enough boiling water to fill your jar up you know, to the top of the neck. So you can put your intent into this jar and your energy into this jar again. You know, and just go down the sides of it, you know, just fill it up with your energy and intent. Then you're going to pour the boiling water over the herbs. You're going to cover with your lid. And you, you want to let this steep for 33 minutes. So while it's steeping, you can continue to put your energy and intent, you know, into the jar. So do that for a few times, and then you're just gonna let it sit to the side. So while it's sitting, you wanna get um, some kind of bowl. Um, I'm using this glass bowl. And I'm not gonna pour the water in mine yet because I will, I will do this on Beltane. I just wanna show you guys how to make it. All right, so the next thing that you want is some ground oats, and this is just um, oats that I ground up myself. So you want um, one part of the ground oats. 
and you want to put your, you know, you got it, energy and intent, and the ground oats. Alright, next you're going to put one part, I'm sorry, not one part, you're going to put two parts dead sea salt into uh, the bowl. So put your energy and intent. I know you're probably tired of me saying that. I'm sorry. I just don't want y'all to forget. So we've got two parts. Then you want to put two parts Epsom salt. With your energy and intent. All right, then just give that a stir to combine the oats and the salts. And as I stir this up, I'm imbuing like a boss, baby. Okay. So once you have that done, so we're going to act. Oh, so I'm sorry. I've got a few more things to do. I've got a few more things to add. So we are going to add, where, here it is. We're going to add a teaspoon of almond oil or you know, whatever carrier oil that you associate with Beltane or whatever you have on your head hand. So I'm using um, one teaspoon or half a part of sweet almond oil. All right, I'm gonna stir this up once I find the lid. Do y'all ever do that? I, I lose my everything. If my head wasn't attached to my body, I'd lose it. Okay, so I'm going to stir this up really good. Put that energy and intent while I stir. And then once I get it stirred up, I'm going to add my essential oils to this. Okay, so the first oil that I'm going to use is grapefruit. Once I find it. So I'm doing two drops of grapefruit. Put your um, intent into the grapefruit, your energy, so you let it know exactly what you want from it. Like what kind of energy do you want it to bring to this blend. You want to see that in your mind's eye so you can manifest it. <laughs> okay, so the next oil we're going to use is geranium. And we're also going to use two drops of geranium. And these are all organic essential oils. Ooh! All right, next we're going to add two, oh, sorry, let's stir this up. Put your intent. Two drops of lavender. You know what? I need, I've got to grab my wooden spoon real quick. I'm sorry, guys. All right, here, let's see. I've got a wooden popsicle stick on hand. I don't like to use plastic whenever I use essential oils. And I just didn't even think about it. Okay. So we've added our geranium and we have put our intention in. I don't think we've done lavender yet. We've added our geranium, our grapefruit, 
And we're going to add our lavender, two drops of it. Put your intent in it. Now we're going to add three drops of frankincense. Okay, and then we're going to put one drop of carrot seed oil. Once you have this blended, you can put your energy and intent in it one more time. All right. Now, after, you know, once you're 33 minutes are up, you're going to strain your herbal water, and you're going to pour it in this blend with your salts and your um, essential oils and ground oats. So you're gonna pour it in there. You can even put the crystals, you know, in with it. But you're gonna, first you're gonna strain your blend, you know, strain it and then pour the water that you have left over and your crystals inside um, the bowl. And then you want to add this to your bath water. You can light candles and um, light essential oil. You can do, you know, a, a essential oil for, or, or any any essential oil. I'm um, not essential oil. Incense. You can do any incense that associates with Beltane, and you can light your candles that you know are the colors of Beltane, the ones that correspond with Beltane. And you know, if you if you make this before Beltane, then just leave your herbs in the jar, you know, like this with your crystals inside. And then you can put your um, other blend, you can put it in a separate jar. Or if you want to go ahead and combine it, you know, in here, that's fine. And then you can just pour the boiling water over the top. I like to do mine separate. But, you know, to each their own, do how you feel. All right, guys, I hope that you will love this recipe. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, the, subscribe to the video. And if you're interested, turn on that little bell notification so you can stay up to date with everything that we have going on. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you all fly high. Peace!